All right. So um, they tell me that I have a slope of 2. Now remember, slope is the rise over the run. That's our slope. And I can rewrite 2 cleverly as 2 over 1. So that's my rise is 2 and my run is 1. And then they tell me that E is on my line. So if E is on my line, I'm going to start there. And from that point, to get to any other point on my line, I'm going to rise up 2 and run over 1. So from E, I'm going to rise up 2 and run over 1. Now that's so temptingly close to C, but that's not where the dot for C is, right? This dot for C is over here, and so this point, that's not C. So this, this point's on our line, but it's not any of the ones that they're asking about. So let's keep going, right? So if I rise up 2 and run over 1 again, I'll still be on my line. So if I, from that point, if I rise up 2 and run over 1, oh, there it is. That's B. That's my answer. So B lies on, um, so your answer is B. You're done. But I'm going to keep talking about it because it looks kind of interesting. So um, that point B is on a line. And point E is on a line with a slope of 2. So this line has a slope of 2, and it goes through E, and it also goes through B. Um, so I'll have videos linking to other concepts about slope. The biggest idea you need to know for this test is that slope is rise over run. Another great thing to know about slope, very quick fact, is that get a pen that works, positive versus negative slope. So no matter where it is on the graph, if it's going up, if you were to write on the line and your letters are slanted up, this is a positive slope. And if it's going down, if you were to write on the line and your letters are slanted down, this is a negative slope. And so uh, I like to write on it because some people say, well, I'll go up if I go that way. But no, you want to write in the, go in the direction that you write from left to right is going down, and that's what we care about. So just knowing the difference between a positive and a negative slope can rule out some of these points. Because I know that if, if A were on the same line as E, if my line went through A and E, that would be going down, and that would have a negative slope. And they told me that my slope was supposed to be a positive too. So I could, by process of elimination, get rid of A. Same thing with D. If D were on the same line as E, then my slope would also be going down, and that would be a negative slope, and that would be out. Um, let's see, what else can we do? If you wanted to know if C were on the line, like if your, if your line went through point um, E and C, if you were just curious about the slope of that, to get from one point to another point, whenever you're finding the slope, you just ask how much do you rise and how much do you run to get from one point to the other. And the big thing is you start on points on the line. A lot of people like to start at the origin. The origin, not all lines go through the origin. You want to start at a point on your line and end at a point on your line and count how much you rise and how much you run to get from here to here. So if I start at the low point and I rise up one, two, and I ran over one, two, my rise was 2, my run was 2, that's 1. I do a quick check to make sure, yep, it's positive. So if it weren't through E and C, the slope would have been a positive 1. So that's enough rambling, I think, for this one, but it is a very cute problem. So that's it.